Have you guys been so interested in acting? Playing Ophelia could be a real growth experience for me. Actors get all the chicks. You know, this show could be really good for Port Naranda. I'm gonna be a star! Of <laughs> Hamlet? But he's a grown-up, Bron. So? I'll do it on stilts. Look, as long as Fiona doesn't play Ophelia, I'm playing Hamlet. Aren't you and Fiona going out anymore? Well, we're having some time out to experience other relationships. Since when? Since after I tell her. I can play Hamlet. I can learn big words and stuff. You're just pre-digested about kids. <laughs> I'm the mayor. I'm the sponsor. So why can't I be the star? Because Hamlet's a young dude. I am youngish. Hey, why don't you play that king? It's Santa Claudy. <laughs> Claudius, dummy. <laughs> As if you could play the baddie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> This may be our chance to get that final curtain call. But, Father, they won't give us any parts. They don't know us. And we didn't audition. And we don't exist anymore. Nonsense. The Von Klatt family players will always shine through. Being dead is only a minor hiccup. We are masters of disguise. And we will get that final curtain call by Jingies. Oh. Hurrah! Oh. <laughs> For 200 years, we have lived together in perfect harmony. And now it's time to celebrate. The highlight of our Welcome Back Home Week will be an historic pageant to be directed by Ralph Snapper. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. As you know, last century, the original playhouse burnt to the ground while the Von Klapp family players were performing. So. Our show will be a tribute to their famous unfinished production of Hamlet. I want to thank you all for auditioning, and I shall now announce the cast. <clears throat> the leading role of Hamlet goes to James Gribble. <laughs> huh? The role of Ophelia. Yeah. Goes to Fiona! <laughs> Harold Gribble will play Polonius. <laughs> and the matron will play Queen Gertrude. Oh! This is all rigged! Please! <laughs> I haven't announced all the supporting roles. <laughs> Uh, uh, seeing this is an Australian production, Bronson, I want you to play a kangaroo. Can I do it on stilts? Why don't you try a pogo stick? <laughs> <laughs> I really do feel sick. Oh, this isn't a tragedy. This is a farce. Yeah, if I can't play Hamlet, Linda doesn't want to know. Oh. I'll see you outside. Just had an amazing idea. He's just my height. Not quite as handsome. I could play her. Better than she could play herself. We're better actors than those fools inside. 
We know our parts backwards. Fiona! Hi, Faye. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, we really need to talk about something really important. Really? Um, you know how you and I have, well, sort of been going out? <laughs> well, I've been thinking that, well, it's just not fair on you because, well, there, there are all these other guys that you could be having relationships with. Really? And I believe that you should experience all these other relationships so that you can be sure that our relationship oh. is the relationship you want as your main relationship. And you should too, huh? Well, if you insist. You know what they say. If, if you love someone, you should set them free. And, well, we love each other, right? Right? Yeah. Listen, it's probably a good idea. Bye. Oh. Stan, it's, it's like she was planning to give me the flick all along. She's so calculating. Right, let us assume our characters. Ralph, we don't need the twist. We'll do all the roles. Yeah, yeah, Tell him yeah. how you want the kangaroo. Oh, it'll never work. Fear not, my good man. The Von Twist family play is at your service, sir. Ta-da! Oh, you're back. And with your own period costume. Oh, we're so sorry about Linda's tantrum. Of course, we'd love to be in your play. In fact, we're dying to be in it. In fact, we're already... Uh. And Tony, Faye, kids are... I... I don't know how to thank you. Please call me Lady Sarah. I'm Barnaby. Lola at your service, sir. Pat Von Clapp, romantic lead. Sir Sterling Von Clapp. And if you use these names, you'll help us to stay in character. Of course. Method actors. <gasps> Exciting! Well, you could say that, yes. Fiona. <laughs> Forget what I have said. I was a fool. I now realize that you're every woman in the world to me. But what about those other relationships? I will never love another woman but you. <sighs> when I play the kangaroo, I'd like to explore the inner being of the beast. Ta-da! Oh, Bronson! I, I mean, Barnaby. That's excellent! Now, Kate, I want you to improvise a scene where Ophelia, the love of your life, is dead. Dead. You've been writing all day, all night. G'day, Ophelia. Um, my heart is yearning and my bum is burning. Oh, cease, desist, <laughs> not another syllable. Step aside, young man. Patrick, would you mind? Certainly. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Pete, that was fantastic. <sighs> I'm sorry, James. I think we've found a new Hamlet. Jim, well, I never wanted to play that part anyway. Now, yeah. about Ophelia. Oh, Lola, would you mind? Lola? Of course not. Go right ahead. And action! As I was sewing in my closet, Lord Hamlet, with his doublet all embraced and his stockings found, and with a look so piteous, he comes before me. Sick. I think we've found our Ophelia. Sorry, Fiona. I'm sorry, my darling. The play is the thing. Yeah, well, friendship certainly isn't. I've always wanted to sing the part of Queen Gertrude. Really? I thought I was meant to play the part of Queen Gertrude. No, about Polonius. I am Polonius. Let's get that straight. Yeah. If you be Polonius, who's going to carry the spear? The spear. Is that a big one? Ralph, I think ideas for this production are fascinating. Do you? Yes. 
Let's talk about the ghost. I think the part is very me. Really? Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, class. Good morning, Lady Sarah. Yes, Bobby. Could you and Barnaby <laughs> sing a song for us, please? Barnaby? Yeah, you know, Bon. You want Bronson and I to sing? No way. I can't sing. Oh, come on, Barnaby. Don't call me Barnaby. My name's Bronson. It's not. It's so. My sister said you changed your name and you did somersaults and cartwheels and fantastic singing in her dreams. What's that smell, Barnaby? Don't call me Barnaby. Lady Sarah. <sighs> Raylene, don't call me Sarah. What is that smell? It's my show and tell. It's a rotten mussel from the beach. <laughs> What's wrong? Why don't you tell me, Lola? Or better still, don't even talk to me again. Patrick, love of my life. Fiona, um, I thought we agreed on the relationship freedom thing. G'day, Lola. How about we do some rehearsing of our own? Get your hand off me. Why is everyone calling me Lola? <laughs> you actors. <laughs> So wild and passionate. Good morning, you thankless rabble. The theatrical event of the decade is imminent. You've probably already heard about our very own Lola and Patrick. Let me tell you, they are truly inspiring. Hollywood is calling. <laughs> I'll ease him into it. Tony, I'm pregnant. Oh, no. It's too fast. Just relax. Tony, honey. Don't you think three's a very uneven number? How do you feel about four? Two. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Tony. Darling. I'm having a... Mm. Ow. Mm. Mm. Hey, Tony. Harold. Or should I say, Sir Sterling? <laughs> well, I'm taking your acting advice. <gasps> oh, Stitch. And I'm getting in touch with my body. That's a big ask. <laughs> well, congratulations to you both. Oh, Harold, how did you know? On your fine singing voices. But look, just a word of advice. <gasps> Ralph Snapper is the director, so don't interfere, OK? After all, that is my department. Okay. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, uh, Harold. Oh. Uh, sorry. Look, um, this stuff you do, it's take it to the tip. You're real straight to see. As a friend. <sighs> Something weird's going on around here. I reckon. Too bad in that old git. You must be Lola. What exactly is going on? Let me explain. You see, 
We died in that terrible fire before we could take our final curtain call, and now we are trapped between two worlds, unable to move on. Always waiting for that applause, but never hearing it. Of course, you wouldn't understand how that feels. No, we're not in show business. And we're not dead either. But by being you being us, we finally have a chance to move on from this stage, to fulfill our destiny. Well, destiny is a pretty big deal. Please. If we can just keep playing you to that curtain call, we'll be eternally grateful. All right, we'll let you play us to the curtain call. Hooray! This is supposed to be our show, not the twists. Why else would I sponsor it? For charity? We don't do charity. Do you ever see me asking for a handout? Sorry. Look, it's opening night, and we are going to be the stars of the show. <laughs> Here's the plan. <laughs> well, you to do the thing. Sure, the job. It'd be a shame if the twist couldn't get out of their dressing room. But the show would still have to go on, wouldn't it? Well, someone would have to step in and save the day, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I didn't realise anyone was there. How'd you do that? Oh, it's very easy. Would you like us to show you how? <laughs> oh! What are you Sticking out of the wall like that. They're gonna show us how to do it. Oh, I'd like to see that. Mm. Now, sir, lock the door. Make sure that it's locked. Now give the key to your father. Now, sir, put the key into the toilet and pull the chain. Be good. Now, all we do is take a few steps back, imagine there's nothing there, and run like a billy goat. Hurrah! <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> their acting careers have just hit the wall. I think we're going to need some understudies. No! This is so much fun! <laughs> oh, yes. Psst, Pete! Come here! Watson! Linda! What? What do you want? It's me, Barnaby. Yeah, right. He is. Look. Hello. Gribs, Tiger and Rabbit can't make it. So we will have to play them. While you play yourself playing us. Got it? Um... Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to the theatrical event of the decade. Oh. Backstage, we have a fabulous oh. cast. Tony! Oh. Uh, be long. Thank you. Tony and Faye have left the building. Hold the curtain! Tony and Faye, inside. Tony and Faye, outside. Tell them to hold the curtain while you get ready. <laughs> Must be the pressure. Tony and Faye are out. My hour is almost gone. It's 
going really well, sir. <laughs> Knockout, sir. Speak. I am bound to hear. I am thy father's spirit. Doomed for a certain time to walk the night. And for the day confined to fast in fire.